Hello everybody, I'm Taiko Selchu and this is a Company of Heroes 2 Shoutcast. We have two incredible players up against each other today. We have uh, USA who is OMG Pop and uh, um, my, I have my game running in windowed mode and when I move my cursor over to the right it just goes off the screen so I guess we'll use the arrow keys to move around because if I do what I normally do to move around which is uh, middle click and drag, I feel like you can hear that on the microphone. And I think it's kind of annoying. I have this new mouse, a G500S, I think. Yeah, let me. Yeah, it's a Logitech G500S. It's a really nice mouse, but I guess it makes a loud little middle click noise. Click, 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 click. If anyone knows how to fix that, let me know. Uh, my old mouse finally broke. I had a MX510 for like seven years. So we have USA, who's OMG Poppy's number like three on the Soviet ladder and number four on the German ladder or something. And then I'm not sure what he's ranked uh, USA and. Uh, Austria, because uh, coh2.org does not yet have those rankings up, and that's the only uh, site I use to check. And um, uh, Blitz is his opponent, who is ranked like 50th something and 100 something, so also incredibly good. And this is uh, Lagley's Breakout, which is kind of a shitty map. One of the reasons it's a shitty map is because the uh, Obercommander Vest gets to salvage a shit ton of wrecks <laughs> over here at the beginning. If you're not familiar with salvage ability, we swap over to these Sturm Pioneers and. Um, they can use this on wrecked vehicles or team weapons for 5 fuel, and um, or 12 fuel, I guess, if it's abandoned vehicles. And um, the command vehicle has converted to a static these vehicle. guys... Hmm. Did they change this? I feel like you used to get munitions from maybe something... Maybe the... Well, they're getting fuel from it, right? We'll watch the... Uh, fuel. Yeah, that's fuel. So yeah, um... If you actually read the loading screen tip on this map, Ligley's Breakout, it talks about how uh, on Christmas Day, or no, Christmas Eve, the Germans were surrounded here by the Americans, and then they broke out, uh, abandoning a bunch of vehicles and basically losing the Battle of the Bulge there. So I guess Relic was like, huh, let's put a lot of abandoned vehicles here, it's going to be a lot of fun, not realizing that uh, one of their new factions can salvage abandoned vehicles. Uh, which is an understandable oversight, right? Like, you figure, okay, whatever, Relic wasn't really thinking. They wanted to put some vehicle wrecks here, so they'll put some vehicle wrecks here. Except Relic did this in the fucking past in Company Heroes 1, when the Panzer Elite could salvage stuff, and they had some vehicle wrecks on the maps, and then eventually people were salvaging them, and they realized, oh, this is fucking stupid, so we gotta take the vehicle wrecks out of the fucking map and fix it, and then they finally fixed it, and then they broke it again in Company Heroes 2 because they're fucking idiots. Or something, I don't know, I shouldn't be mean to Relic. I'm sure they had their wonderful reasons for not... Like, they didn't tell them new map-making intern that like, you don't put fucking wrecked vehicles on maps if you're going to add a faction that can salvage things. We went through this in the original company. It's like, oh my god. Oh my god. The Relic just needs... This is not the only fucking thing that they've done, like, multiple times um, in the game. That they, like, broke in Company Heroes 1 and fixed, and then was broken in Company Heroes 2. So we have a... Fuck, Jesus, a three-minute half-track. Um... Pretty much the first thing the Obercommando Vest did was build this uh, mechanized thing. And so now we're going to have to see how OMG Pop deals with this uh, thing that's a hell of a terror. You watch it set up, and, uh, and it's set up, and then it can fire, and then I like how the little doors go down when it's firing at people, but I feel like the doors should go down immediately when it sets up, because that way it would have a little visual indicator, uh, which would be kind of cool. Um, I don't know what these riflemen are planning to do... I guess he figures from green cover he can get some damage in on the folks, Grenadiers. Uh, he is pushed off by a grenade, though. Uh, these riflemen are going to get pushed off. These, they're probably going to stick around as long as possible to try and cap it. Nope, just kidding. Yeah, the Sturm Pioneers were going to shred the fuck out of them. Uh, they want to get some damage in on the Sturm Pioneers as they charged, and then he would have wanted to stick around as long as possible to cap this thing and to let this riflemen squad sit behind this cover and put some damage in. But once the Sturm Pioneers get that close to riflemen, you don't really have a choice. You just have to get out. And Blitz, not using his half track too much. You have to be careful being too mobile with it, because then it might not get any shooting done. You want to keep it uh, standing there so it can shoot people. But uh, you do also want it to be in combat as much as possible, so get it somewhere where it's going to do some damage. Was that a grenade going into this building? It must have been. I heard it boom. So, um, these rifle man, these riflemen doing some work against these folks over here. That's just some lucky hits, I believe. Um, and now they're going to get pushed off. Sturm Pioneers, since they're a lower man squad, they're going to stick there and cap the thing. And these riflemen really should probably think about retreating. They can't fire backwards. That's a change in Company Heroes 2. Uh, units used to be able to fire backwards in Company Heroes, but now you can only fire to the side. 
or in front of you. So if you're running backwards against someone, you can't fight. He gets into cover, and he's actually maybe going to win this fight. I don't think he will. Well, um, well, just watch watch on the left on the minimap. Man, the Fox Raiders chicken out first, and they run away. They retreat. If you were watching that, they're at two. They're at two, and neither player really wanted to risk that. And so we do have um, the Fosh and Jaeger Doctrine chosen a while ago for... Uh, this guy Blitz, and now he's got his first MG34 coming out. This is going to give him some really serious anti-infantry power between this half-track, which can also deal with light vehicles, but has to worry about light vehicles itself, because it'll take some damage. But I mean, it can at least own up an F20 or something like that. So between the half-track and the MG34, he's going to have some serious anti-infantry capabilities. And so uh, let's swap over to OMG Pop and see what he's hanging out. He has gone uh, infantry uh, company, so... I uh, I need to experiment more as Americans. I don't know. I've been playing mostly Americans and um, vanilla factions uh, when I play, when I auto-match. I just find Overcommando West a lot. It's, it's hard to play. Um, I find them tough. Americans, meanwhile, are easy mode. But um, I've mostly been going Armored Company for Americans. The first time I played them, I went Infantry, and that didn't work out so well. So now I'm just going Armored Company. Um, it looks like he is... Oh, no, he just bought an AA half-track. Of course, everybody buys the AA half-tracks. It's all the good shit. Hasn't bought a hospital truck yet. I wanna, I'm want to. i interested in when people mix in hospital trucks, because I find, as Americans, I always eventually get this fucking ambulance. Um, it, I just find it like my infantry are getting beat up. Like, look at these squads. Half health, Refman squad. Half health, Refman squad. Nobody gives a shit about the rear echelon squad, except they do have a bazooka, so he teched up two uh, bazookas, which is um, something we see a lot of good American players doing, teching up two bazookas relatively early. This is um, undoubtedly uh, driven, probably, by the half-track. Uh, we're going to have to watch this AT gun in the house. Uh, does the American know it's here? I'm sure he does. Yeah, he's, he sees it. And so he's still driving up to it. He must have uh, just had a delayed reaction there, because you don't want to fucking back your ass up into an AT gun, and he's really being owned by this MG34. He's gonna have to pull out of here. He can't just stay suppressed forever. He doesn't have grenades unlocked, so he can't use the smokescreen grenade, which is just an I win button. Versus machine guns, he's maybe gonna try and crawl out of the arc of fire with this MG34. I don't expect it's gonna win over here on the left. The riflemen have been pushed off, so uh, not looking tremendous for the Americans. He's doing some damage with his lieutenant squad. Uh, you notice this health bar, uh, these people, they were maybe focus fired by these uh, infantry, because it looks like we don't have any damage on the MG34. So they were all focus firing on the um, AT gun, which makes sense. If you do enough damage to the AT gun to push it off or even kill it, I don't see how he could ever kill it. It would just leave. He's got Vet 1, by the way, from just having taken damage, I guess. Um, heads doesn't have any kills. So if you put enough damage on this thing uh, and push it off, then, of course, you can roll in with your AA half-track and do some serious work. Um, swapped it out for his bazooka team, but that uh, wasn't able to fight at this AA half-track. So... Um, yeah, he was, looks like he was focus firing that to give his half-track some room, uh, but to no avail, and now things are gonna low. Whoa, nice for Kettenberger. Uh, just owned up one of these guys, I think. What's going on here? Oh, that's a bazooka. Uh, that could actually get bad for this. Yeah, bazookas and houses, that's where it's fucking at to take care of these things. That's what you want to do. Even fucking rear echelon troops in- whoops, turned out the test mark. Well, I don't know. This is nice. I can see everything. Ambulance taking the field. Ambulance taking the field. See, he bought an ambulance at the 8 minute mark. So um, I feel like eventually pretty much every American is forced to go ambulance, at least the way things work. Just because you're using riflemen for so much stuff, you're going to definitely get a lieutenant and uh, like a captain or a major because you just have to to tech up. And two of your doctrines, in fact three of your doctrines, sort of rely on infantry and see if we'll get some shots from here on this half track, but maybe not. He's instead going to shoot the Rick and River. Um, I say three of your doctrines, because even Armored Company doctrine, you get the Assault Engineers. That's one of the main reasons for going Armored Company as Americans, one of the main reasons I go them. So they're going to want uh, um, healing too from the ambulance. Uh, this thing retreating to get healed up from that building, which is kind of weird, but whatever. Ruken River really taking some damage, but uh, it's at least earned itself that one from getting shot the fuck up. Half Track has only up to two kills, having just gotten a kill, I think, just now. Um, but it's been doing a good job of area denial. If you look at the map, it's pretty much always been mostly capped by the Oberkommando Vest. Um, nice burst there, but it looks like probably this Half Track's gonna. or the US Half Track is probably. Oh man, target priority fucked up the shit. Um, so, if you're not aware, the target priority uh, is still fucked up for um, tank destroyers and stuff like this. Uh, Relic did patch the game today. This is pre-patch. I said Steam not to update my game so I could watch this replay. Um, so, Relic has not updated target priority for the M10 half-tracks. Oh, look, I can still scroll to the right. I'm not sure what fixed that. It's a miracle. It's a Christmas miracle. This is Legley's breakout, Christmas Eve, Christmas miracle. I can scroll to the right with my mouse now. Um, 
So the target priority, the way that works on the M10 and the M36 Jackson tank destroyers, uh, the Americans get, uh, they'll shoot at infantry before shooting at tanks. So unless you give them a right-click order to attack a tank, they'll d prefer to shoot at infantry, which means if you give them an order to move, they'll fire at infantry while they're moving instead of a tank, which is bullshit! You can't circle strife a tank if there's any infantry around with uh, those um, AA, or with those uh, AA. Uh, tank hunters, which which is the, oh, he's building a flak emplacement. That's really bizarre. Oh, I don't know. And we have some fashion makers called in too. Do we have the truck that heals people? I don't know. We'll check if the truck that heals people in a moment. This is gonna be a big fight here. We got the AA half truck opening up on these fashion makers. He's gonna have to get them out of here. If he doesn't lose a lot of doesn't want to lose a lot of manpower in terms of reinforcement, but he wants to get some damage in on these people. We got a grenade going. Fuck! Fuck! That wasn't a grenade from the uh, allies. Of course it wasn't. They haven't researched grenades. That was a grenade from the fucking folks that killed off all the lieutenants except for one. Did it kill the actual lieutenant? Yes, it killed the actual lieutenant. Now it's just a guy with a bar, but he can just go back to base and get a brand new lieutenant, which is kind of weird if you think about it, because ostensibly you were building a lieutenant squad to get the lieutenant, and the other people were just coming along with him for the ride. This flak emplacement has got to do some fucking work on this building, and they're getting chewed up. He gets out just in the nick of time with a tiny sliver of health. That rifleman is glad to be alive, happy to be alive. I don't know what the slack emplacement is doing. This isn't even a cutoff. Is just trying to deny this building and trying to deny, I guess, the AA half track from coming in and owning things, but um, once it's this close, actually the base defenses, these are shitty base defenses. Yeah, let's put a gun here. I really need to protect this part of my base, the fucking forest, in case Little Red Riding Hood is attacked by the enemy. I really need to keep that shit safe. What a shitty map. Um, What was I saying? What was I saying? Was it an ambulance? I don't, maybe I wasn't saying anything. Oh, I was gonna talk about Fosher Makers, though. Fosher Makers are expensive as hell. Have you noticed the manpower costs? Uh, 440 to call them in. And to reinforce them is not much cheaper. I mean, it is much cheaper, obviously. It's not 440 manpower to reinforce a single fucking Fosher Maker, but, uh, it still costs a lot. Uh, oh, look, Rifleman with the gun gun gun. Let's swap over to the, this guy to talk about the gun gun gun. One of the, um, uh, benefits of uh, this building is taking a lot of shit from this <laughs> um, for Count Verfer, but it doesn't seem to mind. The health bar is doing quite well, which is um, actually now it's getting a little low. So you gotta worry about that. Don't let yourself get collapsed on. That would be bad news. And uh, one of the weird things about these AA half track sort of things is that cover is like a fucking master against them. Like they will shoot to shit any cover you are behind before doing a single tiny sliver of damage to you. Uh, they'll just blow apart like 18 trees and you'll be perfectly fine, you won't be suppressed, you won't be damaged, of course you'll, then you won't have any cover and then you're fucked because the half track opens up on you. Um, and this doesn't count for the maxim, the quad maxim, just for, see look, it's shredding the fuck out of these bushes. So I think I like that, that's actually a cool kind of effect, ooh, the cover kept for getting a good hit in, one more in the vet too, might finish it off. Um, so I think that's a cool effect, that cover is so effective but uh, quickly evaporates, like you gotta move quickly, oh he's got two! I was wondering how this thing on the left got over here to the right so fast. So I was like, it's interesting that he'd reposition it. I don't, but yeah, he's got two, so Jesus. And still not doing so well on the territory control, especially because the Oster, uh, or the Oberkommando Vest got a wonderful cutoff there. And here's the Puma. So this I always think, what did, oh, he's got a bazooka in this. Uh, thing. So this, I think, is always a really interesting time in the game when the Puma comes out. A lot of Oberkommando Vest players, at least versus me, um, oh shit, it's dead now. Look, watch, it's gonna open up and it's gonna, oh, it's gonna get out. Yeah, it's gonna, if it, anything, it hit the bushes. So that was really close. I feel like a lot of over, oh, bazookas. This puma's gotta, is, can it get out down here? Yes, so, uh, he better be careful not to cut across too close. Is he gonna, is he gonna catch the puma? Is he just, he has to right click. The thing is, when you're chasing a puma, you have to stop and you have to right click on it. Oh, he's gotta just throw out of control. It's dead. It's dead. You don't need to chase it. He didn't see the critical, because the criticals are too hard to see. So he shot it again. Um, this game is terribly visually busy. Yeah, that's a bad thing. Um, so, there, well, first we'll talk about chasing a puma. When you're chasing a puma, or chasing any sort of vehicle with... Um, the flag emplacement's dead. I guess the bazooka in the house killed it. That's pretty funny. Um, we're getting her up to vet two with only two kills. Um, and they're both infantry kills. Increases weapon targeting rate of fire. Wonderful. Um, so when you're chasing a vehicle with some sort of anti infantry anti-tank uh, weapon, like a bazooka or a panzer shrek or a... That's basically it. <clears throat> when you're chasing them, 
Uh, your guys are never gonna stop and fire unless they're in uh, range. Wait, hold on. I want to watch this volley fire because there's a bug with the bazookas where it will shoot the bazooka like a shit ton of times. Come on. You can do it. You can fucking do it. I know you can. Damn it. Fucking do it before it wears off. Shoot some... God, fuck. So there's a bug with volley fire. Um, when you activate volley fire, they just start shooting their guns a lot, but it doesn't really do anything except suppress. But um, if you have a bazooka, they'll start shooting their bazooka a lot. <laughs> so he'll fire like just fucking like literally that fast so that's um, funny to me I find it amusing uh, I want to see that so when you're chasing someone with an that was a nice shot from this bazooka it like killed two people at once that's a problem with these tiny little yellow craters that you get um, man that guy it would really announce that howitzer with loud gusto. Um, the problem with these little tiny craters is people take cover in them and then they get destroyed by any sort of explosion. Uh, even explosions with do that don't have a lot of splash damage that normally wouldn't do a lot like bazookas. Uh, poor Sturm Pioneers can't get any work done versus that building. Um, so when you're chasing a light vehicle with some sort of handheld infantry... Oh, I was going to talk about these uh, Brownings too. Not yet. Uh, when you're chasing infantry with some sort of light anti-tank uh, handheld uh, anti-vehicle thing... If you just right click on the vehicle and it's like driving away from you, um, often your infantry will chase it and never get anything done, even if technically it's in range. Um, but if you sort of stop telling them to chase it and just give them like an attack order, uh, they'll like fire as long as they're in range. And so if you're positioning, repositioning yourself to like move uh, for a position, man, he wants to take this building out. First the flak emplacement, now a couple of Vakatan Riffers. I said Vakatan Riffers, it's not Vakatan Riffers. I think. I don't speak fucking German. Do you speak fucking German? Maybe you do. Statistically, I have a lot of viewers in Germany from what YouTube tells me. Hello, my German... How do you say friends in German? Uh, I feel like I should know that word. Mine... Kinder? Kinder is like family or something, I don't know. Um, so if you're maneuvering to try and catch like a thing like this and you're like over here and it's driving away, you could either keep chasing or you could fire. Sometimes it's worth it to take the Hail Mary shot and fire. So anyways, I wanted to talk about the Pumas and then I wanted to talk about like, Jesus, look at all these riflemen. Look in the upper right. Look at all these riflemen that he's got. <laughs> uh, this building's going to collapse, by the way. This is going to be really bad. He's keeping the Rican Riffer in here because he wants to kill... Oh, good. He got it out. Thank God. Are they shooting through the building? I, th I think so. I think there's fucking holes in the building. They throw a grenade through the building. You can at least do that. And he doesn't have sight behind it, right? No, he doesn't. He does have sight. True sight is bullshit because you can't tell what you can see sometimes. Is that just in a shadow? I think that's in fog. What's in fucking fog? I can't fucking... This game, guys. Was that a grenade from the rifleman? No, it couldn't have been. He hasn't researched grenades yet. Okay. Um, Kuma. A lot of Oberkommando players are going to go Pumas to try and take out whatever you've gone, because um, the thing, the way it works... What's blowing up? Oh, it's Bazooka. Um, these guys need to worry. There's two of them. Oh, careful. If this Bazooka shoots at this house, the house might collapse. Uh, whoop. I don't even know what's going on. Get out. Get the fuck out. Yeah. Um, so, if you look at the American teching, the way it works is... What's going on over here? Just stern pioneers. Um, what's going on over here? Oh, they've hit the dirt. We'll talk about hit the dirt in a little while. Um, if you look at the way the American teching works, it's tier 1. You just got riflemen and rear echelon troops and a hospital truck and ambulance. Um, tier 2, you get the M20 and the whoop. Grenade forces them to move because they were hit the dirt. Um, if you look over... Ooh, these guys are going to get shot from two people with bars and green cover. Yeah, the MG-34, especially with no vets, not going to be able to stand up to that. Meanwhile, we're still fighting here. This house is still here. The Rakuten River is it's a different Rakuten River. It doesn't have vet, but it's getting out. Um, oh, shit. Oh, yeah. So, tier two, or tier one, tier zero, one, two, tier one from tier, tier, tier two <laughs> from the United States. Uh-oh, this is vet four. If it gets a hit off, this could be bad. I think it's vet five that gets the magic gun that explodes everybody. Vet 4 is mobility firing range. It can camouflage while in 
in cover and out of combat, for strike when it's attacking out of camouflage. That, I think, was the uh, icon over the Yog Panzer in one of the previous games I shoutcasted that everybody was telling me, oh, it's like the Panther Command tank, it's the uh, coming out of cloak bonus, it's, it's some other bullshit. People have like 18 opinions. Every time I don't know what the fuck is going on in Company of Heroes 2 and I yell about it in shoutcast, people give me answers, but they're like different fucking answers. People give me like eight answers for everything I fucking ask, so you can't all be right, motherfuckers! Some of you are, obviously. So now this is Vet 5, and he'll some shit up. And he's fucked. Yeah, I don't even know what that is. It's gotta be the Rick River. I didn't even see the shell. Sometimes this game is bullshit. Um, so if you look at the US Tier 2, uh, you get the M20 and the AA. Both very tempting things. The AA fucking owns up, if you've been, as you've been seeing the United States use it. I mean, it hasn't been, like, destroying everybody, but it's been doing some work. And the M20, I find, to be pretty sweet, uh, especially because it comes with free bazooka for the uh, crewmen. So um, maybe we'll see a grenade here the only reason to go on this side of cover and that is indeed what happens a nice dodge from the United States but it's uh whoa stuka defus stuka defus stuka the whatever um it's got a machine gun on the front I didn't know that you never really see these things fighting but now you do check it out uh did he just oh yeah he AT grenaded it these things are very dangerous to use apparently sometimes you use the ability and if the vehicle moves out of range before you use it it still takes your munitions and goes on cooldown so that's um, pretty unfortunate. Oh! Oh, it took out the house! Oh, God. The humanity. The humanity. How terrible. Five kills, no vet for the Stukas of Hughes. Um. So if you look. Oh, are you gonna do the fucking bazooka thing? It, no, he's moving. Damn it. Do the fucking. Do the fucking. Do it. Do it, motherfucker. Do it, motherfucker. Wow. Now they're moving, though. Can't fire the bazooka while you're moving. Do it, motherfucker! Okay, he's not doing it. Um, what's that? No, it's not a- it's a tank. It's a tank. It's a Sherman. Everybody calm down. Everybody calm down! It's a Sherman. Uh... Shit. Okay, so US Tier 2, the, both the M20 and the AA are pretty fun. So you're often gonna see players build one or both for a bunch of AAs. Most people go for the AA, I like the M20. Whatever, fucking! You build it, and that's about, um, the time your opponent starts thinking about, maybe I should build a Puma. Um, yeah, oh, this is gonna get maybe ugly if the, if the fucking Overcommando Vast gets his shit together and shoots this thing. It's out of range now, but I think. Um, so these two things basically destroyed by a Puma. Um, actually, we saw the AA half track do some real damage to the Puma, but let's be honest, there were two AA half tracks that time, and, um, one of them died, and the other one. The other one kind of did kill the Puma, but a uh, two-on-one is not a good fight. So once you get one of these, uh, a Puma gets tempting. Certainly the M20, uh, the Puma gets 20. Gee, Jesus, is they're owning these people up. Uh, well, again, we'll talk about Hit the Dirt in a moment. It does make them very vulnerable to grenades. They get grenaded and lost three minutes, so they're going to have to probably pull out of there. Uh, unless he wants to stick around forever, which I would not recommend in these circumstances. I'm sure he's just busy microwing and then he'll retreat. Um, or maybe not. Um, so yeah, and then you go to US Tier 3. And there's a Stuart here, and the Stuart and the Puma are sort of even. Um, typically, the Stuart can win if it gets the first shot off and doesn't miss. Um, but if the Puma's better micro, the Puma can beat the Stuart. And um, they're fairly close in terms of power. So you notice the U.S. has to... And there's the AT gun, which will destroy the Puma, but whatever. Um, you, the U.S. has to go up to basically Tier 4 or Colin stuff to get stuff that's like gonna stomp a Puma, that or the AT gun. And so it gets really tempting for the Upper Commando best to go for Pumas if their opponent is... Um, busting out these really sweet light vehicles, or if the opponent's bur busting out infantry, not that the Puma is so tremendous against infantry, but at the very least, do we have a Stuka firing some? No. Um, but at the very least, the Puma's not going to get hurt very much by infantry. Um, yeah, this Sherman, look, it's just getting owned. Um, so I think a lot of Obra Commando players end up going the Puma, which is kind of a funny choice, because it's not like an amazing thing against anything except light vehicles. Um, so, and then it sort of gets quickly obsolete, especially if your opponent's building, um, uh, AT guns. Where is this, where is this going? Right there. So the Stukas of Hughes is sort of- HOLY SHIT! Okay, that f that killed some people. I was about to say this is mostly bark and no bite. Um, if the rockets land directly on someone, they'll fuck them up. They will fuck them up. I'm not even kidding. They'll be fucked so much, it's, like, it's, it's- it's bad to talk about it. Um, Jesus, get the hell out of that. Okay, good. Yeah, he just hopped in to get out. It's like, get in the house, get out of the house, because this thing's coming down any moment now. Um, 
So if the Stukas of Hughes lands directly on someone, they are fucked with a capital F. Um, if it lands near them, not a big deal. It's a really big explosion and a lot of smoke. It looks really impressive. It makes a cool noise coming in, and it's a big fucking rocket. Um, or at least it's a funny-shaped rocket. It, it's large, and it, it looks like... I don't know. It's bulbous. Bulbous is a perfect word to describe the Stuka rocket, but um, if it doesn't land directly on you, it's not a huge deal. If it does land directly on you, though, it, it's really bad. So um, it's got a weird sort of aiming thing, but we can't... I can't show you that, because that's one of the things you don't get in the replay. But it's like, it goes in a line. You have to line it up. And so the difference between, let's say you have these infantry, the difference between this line and like this line is this one will catch like everybody, and this one will just catch like one squad or something. So uh, you gotta wait till your opponent's not moving or something, or wait till they're in a building. We saw that first Stuka, remember, uh, open up on the building and fucking own them up because it collapsed the building on them. There was a whole rifling squad in here, so that was cool. But uh, it takes some finesse to use it well, and it's, uh, it's not a bad unit, it's not a great unit, it's not overpowered or anything like that. It's kind of sort of an interesting sort of uh, sort of uh, artillery piece right there. Ooh, that would be a shame if he lost his Fet 4 squad, and to, I don't know what those guys were doing, but <laughs> now they're getting out. Okay. Um, what a brutal battle, by the way. Uh, so far at the 26 minute mark, just uh, a shit ton of riflemen up against Fallschirmjägers, but he can't spam Fallschirmjägers because they're too expensive. And also we're seeing OMG pop transition. Where is the Stuka coming in? Probably in the center. Uh, Jesus wipes that lieutenant squad because it landed directly on him. In interesting that he didn't go for these guys who were uh, hull down and couldn't move. I say hull down, I'm joking. I don't actually think it's hull down. I also know it's not actually called hit the dirt. And finally we'll talk about this thing that I've been fucking promising to talk about for quite a while because I promised to talk about these things a while ago and it's the same as talking about, oh look, these guys have stolen one of these things. Um, it's still in the bar. So, one of the nice things about, what is this? Oh, it's an MG34. I thought it looked weird on the minimap. I thought, like, it on top of the fuel point looked like some sort of vehicle or something. I don't know. Um, uh-oh. Don't want to lose these, uh, fashion makers to an HE shot. Yeah, it's got HE loaded. Uh, it hits the fucking, this thing. They buffed, uh, the HE shell on the Sherman in the recent patch. Uh, the, again, this is pre-patch. Again, Steam tried to get me to download the patch when it, uh, started up, but, um, this could be unfortunate. Ooh, nice shot! Nice shot. Brilliant. Oh, wow, it went through the fucking wall. That's how it calculated It calculated a hit and went through the fucking wall. There's a browning on the ground. This, you, you run the fuck away. That Sherman's really lucky it didn't get hit in the back. These HE shells, they hit nothing. They hit nothing. It's statistically, I think they hit just as often, but they seem like they never hit anything. And they look, they got the bar. That's a, ooh, that's a fucking, that's a terror. Fallshin makers with a bar. If he catches them on the retreat, that'll be a coup. But he won't. Um, surely we have the yeah we've had the medic truck for quite a while I guess. Um, here's another truck. Um, so the bars. One of the benefits of going infantry company is you get this M1919 A6 Browning LMG unlocked automatically for free once you reach the thing. Whoops! Why did I? Why the fuck did I do that? Um, whereas you don't have to get the M1918 A2 Browning automatic rifle uh, paid for with fuel and stuff. Um, so that's pretty sweet. Um, in, Rod, in one of his shoutcasts, here, so here's the 1919 A6, and here's the 1918 A2. He's got these unlocked. Uh, in one of his shoutcasts, or something, maybe it was a live cast, or maybe he was streaming, Rogers was like, I don't like how this shack has this thing, how it appears if you don't pick the doctor, and that's bullshit. I don't, I don't know what Rogers is whining about, so that's my beef with Rogers. Um, so yeah, you get this thing for free once you get the CPs. Uh, which is sweet, you can buy it. I think it's a better gun. The 1919 is the better gun than the 1918. Stands to reason, because it's a year later. Um, see, two things fall mostly on the Sherman do half health. I think if it had fallen directly on it. Um, whoa! It's good, it's a Sherman. There's a Sherman doing the damage. Doing the damage. This could get ugly. Um, I'm not sure what he's really planning on doing. I guess he's... he's it's, what's even going on? What is even going on? Vet 5 is uh, pretty sweet, I gotta say, even for the Fox Grandiers, uh, who are a little lackluster. I don't know, I like them in the very early game, they seem to do- Oh, that squad is down. Was that Fallschirmjäger's squad? Uh, we'll have to check in a moment. Uh, who's- who's- um, let's go over to Blitz. Let's, oh, that- it- maybe it was a Fallschirmjäger? Yep, it looks like a Fallschirmjäger. These are the same, uh, uniforms is these dead guys. So that's really bad. Uh, you don't want to lose your Fosha Mager squads, especially before they're vetted up. Or after they're vetted. Well, you want them to get vetted up is the thing. Um, 
So the nice thing about uh, the Brownings, whether or not you get the 1918 or the 1919, is that once they've got them, um, your riflemen can defensive stance, which is actually literally has hit the dirt in the tooltip. Uh, you see, hit the dirt and take up strong firing positions. Strong firing positions, also the strongest position for having sex with the ground if you're into that sort of thing. You want to hump the fuck out of Mother Earth, you click on this button. Also useful for taking up strong firing positions. Um, wow, you're killing this to go. And it's dead! Crowd's down to 100 points. Looks like the United States is maybe going to pull this off. Um, despite the massive amounts of vetted um, infantry, he's been much better... Uh, despite the massive amounts of vetted Oberkommando Vest infantry, the United States has been better at unit preservation. If we look in the upper right, there's so many riflemen with so many stars, and also two tanks, this tank and this tank, which don't look like tanks, because, uh, yeah, but right as I say that, of course, he loses one of these squads. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Um, looks like his infantry superiority is going to win the day, especially because the Oberkommando Vest has gone, the Faschenjäger Doctrine, which only gets him, like, fucking Faschenjägers. Like, you're not going to get a big, heavy tank. I mean, you can uh, tech up to uh, King Tiger, but, um, <clears throat> that's a lot of uh, stuff, which he might get there, going to the Schwerer Panzer headquarters, which this was also buffed in the new patch. The gun got better. Um, I don't know about that. A lot of people are saying that gun had to get better. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have an opinion on that yet. Uh, it's not clear to me that it needed to be better. Not clear to me that it didn't need to be better. Anyways, back to the United States of America, USA, USA. It's almost July 4th where I am. Oh, fuck. Um, I don't know what decreed that. Uh, I think... Yes, he's doing the bazooka thing. Do the fucking bazooka thing. Yeah, fucking shoot. Oh, there's two of them, but I, they're still doing it. Yeah, that's all I wanted from this video game. Great stuff. Uh, what else does a bar do? Uh, let's click on one of these guys. Uh, when you hit the dirt, um, they suppress enemies. So there you go. But they're vulnerable to grenades, obviously, so worry about that. So, wonderful game. I really enjoyed seeing this. Um, infantry supremacy from the United States uh, won the day. Despite fairly good unit preservation by the Germans, it just wasn't as amazing as the American unit preservation was. Um, that's just because the Americans spammed, I feel like, more infantry units. And if you spam infantry units, you better fucking keep them alive. And the Americans were able to do that, actually, uh, despite the best efforts of the Germans. Would have... Um, I don't know, it's tough. The Germans didn't have a lot of AT aside from the Verkettenwerfers, so if you can't make the Verkettenwerfers work, I would really like to maybe see some heavier tanks. Faschenmakers, maybe not the greatest choice. Uh, MG34s are a good choice versus all this infantry spam, but MG34s are just basically the shittiest. Um, oh, nope, damn it, I forgot to pause before the end of the match, and now I'm stuck looking at this fucking thing. I can't even zoom in and out or move my camera. Let's just... Fuck. Um, so MG34s... Technically a good choice versus infantry spam, but um, it's the shittiest MG in the game And so even you see he's got a vet 3 MG 34 and a vet 2 MG 34 wasn't able to stem the tide of the riflemen I mean what you gonna do? Uh, it's, 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 it's hard to defend yourself against rifleman spam by someone who's really really good at the game So the lesson here I think rifleman spam really good at the game by the way I checked my YouTube viewer numbers a lot of people watch my videos all the way through until I get to the end of the match And I start talking about bullshit and so congratulations if you're listening to this you're one of like 20% of people who stick around this far or something. Um, I don't really have anything to reward you with, but just know that you're in my heart and I would potentially blow you. Um, so probably now I'm down to 1% of people that scared off everybody. Um, and so with the 1% remaining, I guess that means you're really rich, so you can send me money to me for this and then I'll blow you for that.